so the whole thing to get them to feel, so it's like when they put their hand on the mat, let's say, okay? I have to be able to lock this in here in a way where I can not only pinch my elbow, but also flex my bicep. Okay. The flexing of the bicep really helps if you have big biceps or if they're like actual solid muscle here, really helps. So as I push them away here, I scoot my hips away here and I get literally to the end of his wrist right here. So the wrist can bend. He may be able to rotate it, maybe not. Okay. From here, it feels like your thumb is pointing to the left, okay? So I know that I gotta apply pressure on his elbow that way, but I gotta use my hips right here, okay? To be able to torque it, okay? Right here, my hips. If I'm down here, my knees won't pitch as much, okay? But the key is to not let him, and I'm scooping, like, okay? With my elbow right here, okay? So if he tries to pull it out, okay? I'm pushing him away here, okay? and it's not feeling very good right here because if I even go up higher here, it's at the wrist, right? Yeah. Okay, so, and I have his elbow, so he can't freely rotate it, okay? Because here, I want to be able to even lift up here as I rotate it this way, my knee, and push him right under my knee here, okay? If he pushes it in a little bit right there, and, because from here, I mean, what's he gonna do? He's either gonna, he can't, ro yeah, this is even worse right here, right here. Okay. If he rotates it anywhere this way right here, oh, this is even worse right here, because then I just lift my hip up here and come up, okay? But what I want to do is I want to apply pressure with my feet and always rocking and getting him to basically be completely posture broken here. Because here, if I can get here on his bicep here, then I can get here and if I lock this here, I have a nice triangle because he's really bent over and it's a lot of pressure on his cervical vertebrae here. I can even lock this up even more right here as I apply pressure because he can't compensate for that angle right here. I can begin to do this here with my hips up and just a lot of pressure. But the key is to guillotine that wrist so that I'm not only pinching my elbow, I'm flexing my bicep to completely eliminate all that movement here. And you can just poke it out that way because it just feels like you're taking the wrist and you're just pulling it either out of the arm or the shoulder out of the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Does that in any way answer your question? A little bit. Are you lifting up his elbow? Or are you I'm rotating his elbow. And I have to be able to use my hips to be able to swing and to be able to restrict rotation. If the shoulder rotates, there's no submission. Why do you bring the wrist out this way for a key lock is to limit the rotation. If I'm here, my, my shoulder can rotate. Here, it can't rotate as much. Why do you bring the elbow down? Because it locks up the shoulder and it limits the rotation. Does anybody else have any questions? Yeah, so what I want you guys to do is, so like, let's say they put their hands on the mat right there, look. Eating that right there, and you start controlling it right here. Yeah, get on the hips, and I want to be able to control right here. Look, I rotate left, feed, and now I know I have it really horribly tight here. And I'll just try, let's say, to even push his hips, and I got his wrist. And I know it's probably doing something like this to your wrist, right? Okay, so here I have a nice control. Here, I look, I lift the hip up here, pinch, and I'm just pulling his elbow this way. If I can move this way here, okay. Push him away. Rotate here, lock it even in here, okay. And I lift my hips up. We're just here, triangle, hip, and then I'll probably have a, some wrist here. But the key I think right here is have your hand above your elbow, and then flex your bicep and. Squeeze your, pitch your elbow to your, your rib and flex that bicep. Because that's now he tries to pull it out. Okay? It's very, it's, 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 it's tough. Because in all reality, just slowly, what would you, what would you think right here for such country and face? Or, or, or in another area? <laughs> yeah, and even if you do. See how the angle really sucks right here? 
You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you, you're just literally caught. It's like your foot being caught. You can't really pull it out, but you know, it depends on how well the person supports their body to finish, okay? So get way up on that, pinch your elbow and flex your bicep, but not to the point you're cramping, just to the point where it just flex and you can hold the slide. Okay, try it out, one, two, three. What? This feels like a...